Five months back, a man was diagnosed with ulcerative colitis. He was prescribed misalamine, which he stopped due to non-compliance. In the emergency department now, he presented with the complaints of five days history of progressively worsening abdominal pain, bloody diarrhea. Examination of this patient revealed the following. The patient is lethargic and dehydrated. He has abdominal distension and tenderness without rebound and guarding. Rectal examination shows maroon colored liquid stool. Now, which investigation should be done first? Plain x ray abdomen, barium swallow, barium enema, colonoscopy. If you have already guessed the answer, what is the pathophysiology of this condition? When free air may be visualized in x ray, what is the significance of rebound tenderness and guarding here? The answer is plain x-ray abdomen. If you look at this patient's scenario, there is abdominal pain, distension, bloody diarrhea, fever, and signs of shock, hypotension, and tachycardia. Toxic megacolon is a life-threatening condition which is present in inflammatory bowel disease, more frequently in ulcerative colitis than Crohn's disease. This condition can also be associated with clostridial infections and other forms of infectious colitis. There is transmural involvement which causes release of inflammatory mediators, bacterial product and increased nitric oxide. This altogether contributes to colonic smooth muscle paralysis, rapid colonic distension, ensues thinning of the intestinal wall and makes it more prone to perforation. Plain abdominal x-ray is preferred diagnostic imaging because it may show the colonic dilatation with multiple air fluid level, though it's not present in this x-ray. Free air may also be visualized in the setting of intestinal rupture. For this patient, there is an abdominal guarding or rebound tenderness, which excludes the possibility of intestinal rupture and generalized peritonitis. Abdominal ultrasound is not typically performed to diagnose toxic megacolon. This is usually obtained in a patient with acute right upper quadrant abdominal pain due to cholecystitis or ascending cholangitis or suspected nephrolithiasis. It is also done to identify the level of free fluid in acute abdominal trauma. Thank you.